We have some pretty big news to go through here for Black Ops Cold Wars Season 2 Reloaded. You could download it and play it a lot earlier than expected. So a lot of stuff to go through here about that. Some leaks for Season 2 Reloaded, Season 3 for Black Ops Cold War. We're going to talk some Call of Duty 2021 news, some crazy stuff about Warzone in the future, some zombies, DLC stuff, obviously. A lot of stuff to go through here in today's video. First of all, very quickly, a lot of you guys have been congratulating me on 70,000 subscribers. It's honestly surreal. You guys are changing my life. I really, really do appreciate it, guys. We're 30K away from 100,000 subs. Like, I can't even believe it. So seriously, if you guys are new, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Really do appreciate it. And leave a like on the video as well. Let's get started here first with the Season 2 Reloaded download information. So what exactly is going on here? Today, for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, we got the information that you are able to pre-download Season 2 Reloaded for Black Ops Cold War, and you'll also be able to play it earlier, a couple of days earlier. So what's going on here? In my last video, I don't know if you guys saw it, but we talked about the roadmap releasing on Monday, which is normal. We usually get a roadmap on Monday or Tuesday, but they also said the patch notes would be releasing on Monday, which never happens. And usually, we talked about this, the patch notes release a day before the update actually goes live. And we said, well, that must mean that Season 2 Reloaded is releasing literally the next day on Tuesday, which seemed kind of crazy at the time, but now we know that the pre-download is live for PS4 and PS5. And in the image here, it says installable March 30th, 2021 at 12 a.m. Eastern time, which is late Monday night, early Tuesday morning. So super Super crazy here. Monday, we're going to get a bunch of stuff revealed, the roadmap, the patch notes, all of the information for Season 2 Reloaded, and then literally in a couple of hours after that, Monday night, we're going to get that update live in the game, playable for everyone. So super, super exciting beginning of the week here. I don't know why they're changing the schedule. They usually do these Call of Duty updates on a Thursday, and back a couple of years ago, and always in the past, the updates and even the game would release on a Tuesday. Like Tuesday in the past was the Call of Duty day, and then they shifted to Friday for game releases. Thursday for update releases. So I'm not so sure why we're going back to a Tuesday. Maybe it's because Season 2 Reloaded is a smaller update and it's not deserving of the main Thursday release. Uh, who knows, honestly, but it's pretty cool to see it on a Tuesday. It's not available for download right now on the Xbox and PC. Leave your comments down below once it's available, right when that happens, so everyone does know. But for me, I can't download it yet. So hopefully we do get it very soon. PlayStation always gets to pre-download these updates. In the recent updates, for Season 2 at least, Xbox and PC were also able to pre-download at the same exact time as PS4, which is super hype, but in the past, PS4, PS5 would literally get a whole day earlier, and Xbox and PC would have to wait until the update actually goes live, which meant that the update would be out and live, and PlayStation players would be playing the update, and everyone else would be waiting to download it. So, you know, hopefully that's not the case this time around with Season 2 Reloaded. Some more stuff here with Call of Duty 2021. Very quickly, some pretty big news. Call of Duty 2021 will run on Modern Warfare's engine. That's kind of crazy. And some more stuff here. The full depth of Warzone's integration with COD 2021 reportedly remains uncertain due to scheduling issues and dramatic change in setting with World War II. So a lot of stuff to unpack here. Tom Henderson also has some opinions on this with a new World War II themed Warzone map. So a lot of crazy stuff here. The first thing, let me know down below. Do you guys like the Modern Warfare 2019 engine more than the current Treyarch Black Ops Cold War engine? Because I'm kind of at odds with both. Both aren't the best engines we've seen. Modern Warfare does seem a bit smoother, but I do kind of like Treyarch's engine right now. I do kind of like Black Ops Cold War's engine for some reason. I really don't know. I was hoping for a mix of both of them, maybe. And Sledgehammer's World War II engine actually wasn't that bad. I mean, the one thing I did like about World War II multiplayer was that the engine itself was a good mix between past Infinity Ward games and past Treyarch games, and it came out to be a smooth product. World War II multiplayer did get boring, I'll admit that, but it was pretty smooth. So if they have anything like that combined it with the new Modern Warfare engine, I think it should be pretty good. But again, let me know down below, what is the mass opinion? What is the majority opinion here? What do you guys think, Modern Warfare or Black Ops Cold War engine? And for Warzone here, here, this is where it gets very interesting because apparently Warzone might not get an actual map change in 
2021 into 2022 whatsoever. Now, Tom Henderson says this, there will be a new Warzone map of some kind in 2022. It might not be a full-fledged map, but we should possibly be getting a World War II experience in Warzone, possibly a Rebirth Island type map. This goes against all the current bits of info flying around, but I'm confident in that. And he has a very good point because if Activision is really struggling with the fact that they now have to also integrate Call of Duty 2021 old World War II weapons and storyline into the current Warzone storyline, which doesn't make sense with World War II, obviously, that's going to be an issue. And if they care anything about that, they could do a Rebirth Island type of map that doesn't have to do with anything in the normal Warzone storyline or even the normal Warzone integration. Like they could have a one-off game mode, a World War II themed Warzone LTM and it's cool it has the sledgehammer COD 2021 weapons and all the different stuff and it doesn't have to mix over with the normal Warzone map and I'm gonna be honest if I was Activision why do I even care about World War II not properly integrating into Warzone's storyline I mean there are so many different storyline lapses here and no one's really paying attention to the chronological order of the Warzone storyline I think most people are just you know trying to have fun they're trying to play the weapon the cutscenes in the storyline and the character progression and development it's interesting but seeing a bunch of world war ii weapons in warzone people aren't going to get mad at that so i don't think they should be worried about these storylines and the settings not mixing together as long as they make a good warzone map as, as long as they make a good game for COD 2021 that's all that matters i guess we'll see soon enough what they do with the new warzone content and the future world war ii warzone integration very soon but be sure it's definitely going to happen in some type of way they're going to integrate all of the call of duties into the new games so they're gonna do it and they're gonna find some way to do it here some more stuff with cold war updates i'm not so sure if this is gonna be for season two reloaded or season three but we talked about it in my video yesterday some new melee weapons being added to the game very soon the ballistic knife the baseball bat and there's a bunch of other as well in the code that we will talk about in the future but i didn't realize here this is a good opportunity to see a bunch of old party modes added to black ops cold war nanakos did tweet this out sticks and stones could easily return to the game the bo2 party modes i'm gonna be honest some of the most fun things we've seen in call of duty and we've always talked about this and people have been saying this forever if they could bring back every party mode prop hunt's a good thing but sticks and stones one in the chamber sharpshooter all of these different modes that we had so much fun with back in the day should definitely be added even ones in custom games that we would play michael myers cops and robbers i mean if you guys remember those that would be so insanely cool in some type of actual public match setting that'd be the craziest thing ever and if there was a game to see it it would be black ops cold war so let me know down below do you want to see more of these party modes added to the game again sticks and stones seems like it's the most likely to return at this point once we get these other melee weapons added to black ops cold war but the other ones we could see as well so hopefully we do get that very soon now finally for zombies i want to cover two things here first zombies for warzone what's happening with that nuke event and then also zombies the actual mode in black ops cold war so first thing here from zesty i didn't cover this but this is the rest of the locations here in the script files for verdansk you could find zombie spawn scripts for these points of interest in no specific order they are as follows bank dam tv station superstore and stadium right now we're at the bank we're gonna go to the dam station superstore stadium and again the stadium's like the event area so i'm guessing you know once the zombies are in the stadium that's where it's gonna go down we're gonna see some type of reveal in the stadium i guess maybe the nuke will be launched from the stadium just like we had some crazy stuff happen with the reveal of black ops cold war in the stadium so you know the stadium is a hot spot so it makes sense as to why it's ending there but that's just a sneak peek of what we're getting for the war zone zombies nuke event and for cold war zombies i'm kind of worried and obviously i've been talking a lot about future dlc what we could be seeing for dlc 2 berlin and all of the stuff happening with outbreak right now but we might be in a little bit of a dry period because if season 2 reloaded doesn't bring us anything else of substance for zombies we really are going to be in a dry period and a lot of people are going to get bored of nighttime sanatorium fast so as of now for zombies all we're getting is nighttime sanatorium the map added to outbreak we'll have four maps in the rotation instead of three we have an extra objective which is pretty cool we have a couple 
of different menu changes for zombies applying blueprints in the game but other than that there really isn't anything else in this update where people are going to be drawn to the mode and will be playing constantly nighttime sanatorium it'll be good to keep things fresh the new objective it's going to keep it fresh but it's still going to be the same outbreak game mode we've been playing for the past month and a half so i'm kind of concerned if we don't get the main outbreak easter egg then it's really going to get boring for zombies if we do actually get that main outbreak easter egg earlier than expected Treyarch said season three but maybe we get a surprise and we do get it on tuesday for season two reloaded that would definitely hold us over and i would definitely thank Treyarch for that season two is the outbreak season just give us all of the new outbreak content during season two and then season three berlin dlc2 releases all of that good stuff but for now if we only get sanatorium the new objective it's going to be fun to play I'm going to be playing it right when it comes out. It'll, you know, make it a bit more interesting playing Outbreak. But overall, it's really not going to be fun for zombies the next couple of weeks here as we're going to be playing the same modes over and over again, the same apps over and over again. So I don't know. It's not me complaining, but I just do hope we get some type of other zombies surprise because I want to be able to go into zombies and always have fun and it does suck when there's a huge dry period like after d machina came out there was a pretty good dry period until firebase z and i don't want that to happen again so we'll see what Treyarch does they might give us some huge surprises on monday monday is the reveal of the roadmap the trailer patch notes all that good stuff so monday is going to be a key day but you know i'm hopeful for Treyarch. they've given us some great content and i do think they're going to do a really good job here with zombies regardless in the grand scheme of things cold war zombies the content's been great so hopefully we just get a little more for season two reload let me know down below what else would you want to see for season two reloaded i'm hoping for maybe some other easter eggs to be added to the game maybe an extra map that we don't know about maybe some extra game modes like grief potentially i mean we got to see grief at some point so if they surprise us with grief in season two reloaded that'd be wild so hopefully we see something like that added. but let me know down below what do you guys want to see for zombies in the future just any dlc we'll talk about that in future videos that's pretty much it here for this video thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy leave a comment down below reloaded if you watch the entire video it is greatly appreciated shout out to the youtube channel members as always again big thank you to you guys for 70,000 subs on the channel truly unreal I didn't think this would happen you guys have given me the greatest opportunity of a lifetime and i really really do appreciate guys and we're gonna be grinding every day and hopefully you know you guys just stick around enjoy the content and i, I mean it's gonna be wild man this black ops cold war is gonna be insane and you know who knows what could happen this year man who knows what could happen so i appreciate you guys seriously and um yeah i'll see you guys later peace out